All right, another edition of Bite with Butch here. Butch, uh, first of all, we got to start off a little bit of adversity for your team during the week. Mm -hmm. How did they overcome that, and how did you get the guys to refocus on football so quick? Well, obviously, anytime something that's that tragic happens to any football team, I mean, there's a lot of passion. These guys love each other. They're, they treat each other like family. And, uh, and I think once we found out that night that both of them are going to be okay, I think it really reduced all the stress and the anxiety that they were going through. It allowed them to come in on Friday, totally focus on the game. Uh, all of them, you could hear them saying things, hey, you know what, what would Anthony Mershon, what would they want us to do? And they'd want us to prepare to win this football game, and, uh, and that's what the kids did. Now everybody's talking about the Dolphins' big seven-hour game, <laughs> big delay, but you guys had a little bit of yeah. the delay yourselves and didn't get off to the start that you wanted to in this game against ODU, but Tell, talk about a little bit about that situation and how you got them prepared to get back on the field after being down early. Yeah, you know, we, we, we came out and didn't play very well in the first quarter, but we had a lot of momentum. The second quarter, we had two great drives, cut the lead to 20 to 14, went into the locker room with a lot of good feelings about what things were, were going on. Then you find out we're going to have a two hour and 25 minute delay. There's no way that you can actually practice for that length of a thing. We get it all the time here in South Florida. We're, you know, 30 minutes on the field and then you're in the the gym for 30 minutes and stuff so we just said hey look let's just do it like we do in practice but the one thing and I really think that this really helped our football team we kind of refocused and started the game over we said hey look we come to the stadium we're two hours early mm -hmm. and I said let's do exactly the same thing let's let's eat let's hydrate let's make sure we're stretching flexing when we went back on the field to start the third quarter the one thing that we did is we did exactly our pregame warm-up we didn't want to go out and just spend 10 minutes of, of a little bit of jogging and loosening up we wanted to refocus and uh, then the third quarter we came out and played excellent. I mean, I had two great drives, an 83-yard drive, a 99-yard drive that really put us in a good position to win the game. Now you guys throw for 300, run for almost 200. Yeah. That's pretty much a recipe for a win most of the time, right? Absolutely. I mean, that's what you'd like out of your offense is a lot of good balance. We had good success. Uh, Sean Darius Phillips had a really good game, almost rushed for 100 yards. And any time that you're controlling the line of scrimmage in the running game, it really helps explosive plays. Uh, C.J. Wharton had a great big play and and when you can capitalize on those explosive plays I think we actually ended up having eight plays uh, that were over 20 yards during the course of the game and if you can have explosive plays that really gives your offense a great chance to, to score. How much did that that weight almost like refocus your guys because you got down early uh, pretty big and were able to overcome it. How much did that help almost that, that yeah. weight? Well, I, again, you know, you give some credit to the coaches because they made some adjustments in the, at halftime. We had already seen a lot of what their game plan was, what they wanted to do. And we just talked about it. I mean, two of the big explosive plays that they had offensively was us taking gambles, trying to trying to make interceptions on plays that just make the tackle. It's a four-yard gain. Don't right. try to go for plays like that. And once we eliminated those kinds of plays, uh, then it was a little easier to play on defense. And we ended up for the first time we had five Five, three and outs defensively, which is huge. Uh, early in the game, one of the plays that was really critical is we always talk to our team about how do you handle sudden change? When James threw the interception, yes. the defense went out on the field, three and out, they had to punt the ball. Uh, they ended up not getting any points, so that's uh, that's a real plus for the defense. It's a good balance for the defense to help out the offense and the offense to take advantage of that. Now, yeah. looking ahead here to UMass, I guess last season a lot of guys got a lot of experience in that yeah. game. What do you see from UMass? Well, I mean, the one thing that you see from them is their ability. I mean, they are multiple formations they're also they are unbalanced they play multiple personnel groupings you'll see multiple tight ends then you'll see no tight ends uh, they'll go empty formations the quarterback is really good he, he's very accurate they play two different quarterbacks they're mobile they try to get outside the pocket if they can so you got to do a really good job of making sure you know your rush lanes are sound and, and protective and you got to make sure some of the things that got us bit a little bit against them last year is is that when a scramble occurs you better try to plaster or don't uncover your yourself and try to find the receivers uh, you know they're, they're they're a very very well coached team when you look at all their phases special teams they've had a kickoff return for over 73 yards they've had a good punt return they've done a good job covering kickoffs their offense and defense they're opportunistic and so you better show up and ready to play so they're gonna have to show up here ready to play because mm -hmm. it's gonna be rocking you got a little bit of momentum going let's see if we can keep going into this week against UMass thanks Butch thank you